Now we carry 600 litres of fresh water on board and in that whole time period we only used I'm Barry. I'm Anne Shea. This is the continuing journey of Sailing ABC. We're finally making our way back to Cash. Yeah, we got as far north as we could, given that we were fighting into the wind most of the way. <laughs> um, next year might be different. So we're just going to call the marineros and uh, get them to help us out. I mean, we probably don't need help. There's not much wind. Um, it, it's quite a big fairway. And uh, we can probably get out on our own. But the thing is, if you've got the marineros there available to you as a service, then use the service. Yeah. Seto Marina, Seto Marina, this is Seto Yacht ABC, ABC. Good night, then. Um, we are at pontoon uh, Y1 and we request marinero assistance to depart the marina. Over. Thank you very much. This is ABC standing by on 73. Is, uh, we're either going to go three hours to an anchorage or we're going to go seven hours to anchor at Didim. Yeah. What happens to the wind from the northwest, Buzz? You know, it's it's August, it's, it's, it's Meltemi time. And Windy, forecast, forecast it. And they did, yes, and obviously not. Nope. <laughs> Those fickle wind gods, that's what they are. Uh, someone needs to have a word with them. So, not really any wind There's to There's no speak wind, of. that's. If we're doing 6.3, yeah. we've got 6.8 wind, we're creating that wind. Yeah, yeah. our movement is keeping those flags flying. <laughs> Alright, so position update. This is um, Samos. Uh, we're going through that little channel there. That's Turkey over there. Hopefully around that corner is where we're going to anchor for tonight. missing the Greek-Turkish border as best as we can, obviously, and then we'll go through here and just around the corner, around here, 
is the anchorage that we're actually looking at stopping at if it's empty. Oh, he's a whopper. Beautiful! Gosh, they're huge! Yeah. Going somewhere else, obviously don't want to play today. Update, Captain. Update. You can obviously see evidence of wind ahead of us, and uh, it looks like the wind is coming out of the north now. <laughs> so, when we get around this corner, if that wind is going to be helpful to us, we might not anchor in the anchorage. We might continue on for another four hours to, to, to dig in. Um, you know, when the when the wind is right, why not take advantage of it? Yeah. So once we stick our nose around that corner, yeah. we'll find out what we're going to do. It's not some white caps though. Yeah. So the plan has now changed again. We are going to continue on to Didim. We've got 20 knots of uh, wind, which is just uh, coming up our starboard quarter. And when we've got this wind going the right way, we're going to take advantage of it. No, it's dropped a little bit and our socks dropped a little bit, but you know, still respectable, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that speed. Yeah, uh, that's pretty good. 16.5 knots of wind and 6.1 knots of speed over ground. Here's an interesting but totally useless factoid. Um, <laughs> we, um, we left Cash on the 24th of May and we arrived at Kushidasa on the 28th of July. Now we carry 600 litres of fresh water on board and in that whole time period we only used 420 litres of fresh water. But Baz keeps saying that to people, he goes, oh you know, we didn't use that much water and I, I could just see people looking at us going, you? And I'm like, no seriously, I kept myself clean, I didn't need a lot of water to do that. <laughs> By the time we arrived at the bay next to Didim Marina, the wind was a steady 30 knots, but fortunately for us, it was coming straight out of the northwest, which made anchoring in this bay fairly straightforward. Alright, drop it. Deja vu, we are back in Didim. Bay number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so just a quick overnight here really, uh, and then a big jump again tomorrow. I think we're, tr we're gonna try and get to uh, Bodrum tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. A, re a really uh, kind of a weird day for wind. Yeah. Um, we had the wind behind us most of the time, uh, and then it would just drop away to nothing, and then we'd come back up. Uh, and just as we're coming into anchor here, he thought it would be a good idea to blow 30 knots. Yeah, thanks yeah. wind god, you're great. But anyway, the anchor's in, it's set, we're good. Yes, yeah. Um, I mean, that's one thing about all of these bays actually in Didim, you know that once you get your anchor in, because it's sand, it's really good holding. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm feeling quite tired after today, I don't know why. I'm not surprised. Um, so an early night tonight and then an early, early start, start tomorrow. Because it's a long trip tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right, so set your arm clocks. Yes. Right, I'll bring up the snubber. Yeah. A 6.45 a.m. start this morning. We are headed to Bodrum and we're estimating that uh, trip should take us about five hours. We're not sure exactly where we're going to anchor. There's a couple of uh, different anchorages I'd like to scope out. So uh, we will be anchoring somewhere near Bodrum. One of the places that we look at when we're deciding which is a good bay to anchor in 
is the Turkish Waters and Cypher pilot and um, we, yeah it's really good because it gives photographs and lots of uh, his information that he's gleaned over years uh, so if it's something that you're interested in looking at there's a link in the um, video description below okay we've got 13 knots of wind now and we've still got the motor on um, but we do have the head sail out it's probably given us maybe an extra half a knot yeah so I'll take anything up and get to short the journey We've been on the go for two hours now and we can still see Didim on the horizon, a uh, flat piece of land behind us. And we're just coming into the entrance into the big bay of Yalikovac. We're going over there into this bay which has about two or three names. The one in the Turkish waters pilot guide is Bitez. The other name is on the screen right now. What's this place called? Bit, bit. Bitek or Agajli, Agajli Koyu. Okay, I think I'll stick with Bitek. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is um, kind of um, a, a busy bay, but it still seems to be plenty of room for everyone to sort of like squeeze in. It's obviously a, a, a touristy sort of resort because we can see along the shoreline lots of restaurants and bars. There's a lot of uh, water sport activities here as well. We're actually in 10 meters of water yes. uh, with 40 meters out. So scope four to one. Yeah, it's sand. Yeah, and it so, bit in yeah, straight away. Once it went in, it was like. Yeah. There's a wastewater boat that's just leaving the um, bay, so they do come around and help you pump out if you don't want to. Go Take into the around. marina, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what we'll see what it's like and, and how noisy it gets at night time when they start playing music. <laughs> well, allegedly. 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 According to the Turkish uh, pilot, pilot guide. Pilot guides, yeah. 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 All right, well, it's time for work. Yeah. All work and no play makes something happen. As a dull boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>